Next thing to do, excess reagent. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the theoretical yield of aspirin that I made, the 0 0.007246 moles of ASA, and I'm going to change that into moles of the excess reagent. So one mole of acetic anhydride will go to one mole of aspirin, again, according to my balanced chemical equation. And when I do that, I'll find that I use up 0 0.007246 moles of acetic anhydride. Used up. That's how much I used up. It's got to be in moles because that's my big equalizing factor because I know a mole of anything contains the same amount of particles of Gaudreau's number. Then what I'm going to do, so you can clearly see this, I'm going to get a different colored pen. I'm going to take the amount of acetic anhydride that I would have had, the 0 0.0317. Six, subtract from that the 0 0.007246 that I used, had, and I will find that I will have created 176 minus 0 0.007246. I would have left over 0 0.02451 mole of anhydride. Last step is I take that and I can convert it back to grams because there's 102 grams for every one mole. And I find that I have 2.500 grams of acetic anhydride left. I could also take that and multiply it by the uh, fact that in one milliliter there's uh, 1.8 grams and I could go back to milliliters like I started dividing by 1.08 and it'll be 2.315 milliliters. So I took the moles that I ended up using up, converted that back to moles of the acetic anhydride that I would have used, subtracted what was left over, and changed it back to grams. So that would be you mining your excess reagent. I took either this answer or I took either that answer. Doesn't matter which. Okay, there's excess.